Welcome back to another video, you guys. Today, I am going to show you animals and it's gonna be less talking. Well, it might be the same amount of talking, but I'm gonna show animals while I'm talking. So, these are some goodies that came to us from Europe and UK mixed together and just a small amount of animals. We have a waiting list, as most of you know, a lot of this stuff is probably spoken for and the reason that I say probably is because there's a lot of people on those waiting lists that are just doing the disappearing act. Plenty of you guys are pulling the trigger and I'm happy for that. I'm happy to continue on and do that. So the reason I'm prefacing that is if you're interested in some of the stuff that you see here, unless I tell you that it's gonna be for me, um, send me a message. I'll put you on the list as a backup buyer and you just never know, backup buyers can rise to the top really fast, especially in today's market. Some of you guys are nuts. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it, you guys. So this first one here, this is a silver phase ladder rat snake. And I had a pair of these last year, and it was the first time I had ever seen them. And I was really impressed because they are really heavy bodied, for a baby colubrid like this. The head is really crazy looking. It's real blocky, squared out, and it is, hey, it's just a really interesting looking animal. Maybe in Europe, this is like a really common snake and it's sort of considered like a garter snake or something because it's native to over there. But for us here in the US, it's actually a really impressive animal, it's cool. So this animal, is sold to somebody that I am very, very familiar with. Actually, one of my Patreon people, and you peed on the cup, didn't you? So I know he's not gonna disappoint me. All right, the next ones that I'm gonna show you, these are more baby cyania, but these do not come to me with locality information, but they are captive bred in Europe, different than the ones that we're breeding ourselves in our Malaysia facility. But these are younger than the ones that we had sent over from Malaysia. So I have, again, people on my waiting list for these, but it remains to be seen how quiet people get. So I am going to, what I'm doing is I'm unboxing, unpacking these, and then I'm running them into their cages and then coming back and jumping back into the video because some of them are a little bit too difficult to get back in the cups, although these are easy. But um, yeah, anyway, we'll take backup buyers, you guys, but I think these are sold, but just never know these days. All right, so then we also have some baby rhino rat snakes. The ones that I showed on the channel before, they were already green, and these are hatchlings, which start out this brown color. So one pair of these is sold, actually also to one of my Patreon members. So I'm not worried about him, but we have one extra animal. And then I have, I believe another clutch of babies coming, I think next month actually. So pretty cool covered in moss, <laughs> little moss fragments, but, um, but they'll turn green over time. And they're usually really easy feeders. They, they're really easy kind of self-starting autopilot animals taking pinkies right from the get-go. And then sometimes people will start them also on fish. So, and there's a third one here. So pretty cool. These might be the youngest rhino rat snakes that I've had here. I'm not sure. Yellow chins. This one's white. It has a white chin. These other two, yellow. I don't know what that means for what they'll grow up into, but they're pretty cool. So there's one surplus one here, you guys. So if you're interested, send me a message. And then, like I said, I have, I think, more coming like next month, uh, unrelated, of course. So, all right. 
So this one was added kind of at the last minute and I never put this animal on my available page and therefore there are no people on waiting list for this. So this is a red mountain bamboo rat snake. It's just a baby and it is actually really amazing looking. So this animal is available. They like cooler temperatures. So for those of you that are working with this genus, this species, this is the subspecies pulchra. So actually really beautiful. I really like it. Haven't seen these in a while. I'm for me personally, I would love to work with all of these, but I know that our Malaysia facility is too warm for this stuff. So I'm avoiding all of the Chinese stuff, all the, all the Montane stuff, because I just know it's not going to do well in our facility. But that's a cool snake. And usually these are really easy pinky eaters. We hatched um, cocci before and the Thai mountain racer, I guess the common name is. But they, um, they were super easy. The babies all just started super simple on pinky mice. So, neat. So these next two, these are gonna give me Thailand flashbacks. These are Boiga cyanea, but they're bigger animals. And I believe I have waiting list people for these, but again, you guys just never know. So this is the female. Should be breedable at this size, no problem. And she, yeah, definitely looks girl. And yeah, that's all boy. So green cat snake, Boiga cyanea. And for those of you that are not familiar with this species, the babies, like you saw in the beginning of the video, they start out bright orange with a green head and then they change to green. Okay. And last but not least, I saved the animals that I'm planning on keeping. I th I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be holding on to these, but this is like a yearling or so pair of diversions. And we have a visual exanthic, and that's a female. And then this is the male het exanthic. So I think these are going to be headed to Malaysia to join the rest sending sending over a few so so this is the the normal color form the male and then this is the female exanthic and when you get them right next to each other come on let go of all this moss So when you put them right next to each other, you can, you can see the difference. So that is pretty much it for the goodies from the EU. Normally, lately, I'm not getting very many animals for myself, but um, I think these are going to be it. And then next week, you guys, I have, um, I'm expecting an Indonesia shipment and there's a couple more really cool animals, also some for myself in that one. So I always look forward to the shipments that have animals for my 
my for me for my personal collection those are always the most fun <laughs> so otherwise the rest i kind of see it just as work because it's for you guys so i also am still very much a hobbyist and a breeder and the whole thing so it's always much more exciting for me when i have animals for me so that's gonna do it for the video i wanted to show you guys animals and I think we did that. All right, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you in the next one.